Hello, my name is Amna Begum and uh, once again, I'm here to discuss my article, which I have written for the print. So this week I have written an article on the US visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is a historical visit since uh, this is the first state visit after him becoming uh, um, PM of India. So a lot of have been already written about this visit and how it will impact both country, how is strategic alliances going to work, in which sector we are going to do MOU. So I basically did not go into it. I was talking about very different topic, but which I think is a, it has a, 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 its own significance. So whenever we see that our prime minister goes to uh, to any foreign land, a lot of a uh, couple of organizations or media start doing protests against uh, the prime minister. Start peddling the narrative that Indian Muslims are living into uh, into a genocidal environment or in, on a brink of genocide or a very persecuted minority. So, as an Indian Pashmanda Muslim whose living reality is of a lower caste. Uh, Indian Muslim, an ordinary, basically, you can say a very ordinary middle class family. So I thought as a uh, uh, that identity, I should speak up uh, my own reality. But what is I have been living in India instead of those people making a narrative for myself, for me and telling me this is my reality. I wanted to uh, give a voice to uh, give voice to basically an ordinary Indian Muslims. So um, for like, uh, um, I will start from the organization like IMC. So you see that they have been doing a lot of misleading tweet, which, you know, which is state, uh, which uh, totally based, which are totally based on lies. Uh, and it's not only lies, it can be very prov provocative kind of tweet. For example, they have, uh, tweeted once that all the victim of unfortunate uh, Delhi riot were Muslims, all of 56 of them, uh, which was totally live. Uh, 36 were Muslim and rest of them were Hindu. So you can see that how they exaggerate and lies to provocate uh, uh, a Muslim community and also create a narrative that they all are marginalized, they're just getting persecuted. So yes, Fault lines are there. Yes, there are problem, and we will solve uh, it within the India. But they do not want any solution. They just want to paint a picture that Muslims are getting uh, killed, and there are genocide taking place. And based on that narrative, they um, they just uh, peddle their agenda. So when we go into this narrative i also wanted to explore and i have written about it like how indian muslims should be very aware especially the intellectual class because we know the history what has been happening with the uh, indian muslim we have been just a pawn in this entire politics where we acted as like a vote bank nothing more nothing less and i can see on the global platform the same thing uh, will happen with Indian Muslim that they will be getting used by anti-India forces as a mere pawn to attack India just to paint a picture of India where minority get uh, persecuted and uh, uh, for that again and again using selected news and story and exaggerated that like entire Indian Muslim population are under some kind of seize is a very very dangerous thing to do and muslim have to understand how they should not act as a tool for that basically as indian muslim your future is intertwined with your nation's future and anything which goes against the interest of your nation cannot serve your own well-being so this is the simple thing which we must indian muslim should understand and that's why we should stand up, speak up against such a false narrative and say loudly what, what our real uh, lived reality is. In fact, we have done that. If you see the ordinary Muslim in the Pew Research data have said that we have a total freedom to practice our religion, 98% of them. So yes, if you go into the data and statistic, when you see the... Uh, bigger picture the muslim who don't have voice voice to speak for themselves they're saying there in that survey that yes we have all freedom to practice our uh, religion 
and uh, however instead of carrying this kind of survey which gives you a holistic picture uh, you can see the western media will carry the narrative of like imc which are the which are basically doing their propaganda so in my article i have written and explain i have given my argument that why indian muslims are not on living are not, are not living under any genocidal environment yes there are issues but we are as a nation very capable of taking care of our citizen and our issues and our fault lines we don't think that we need to go and see those uh, people or an organization talking on behalf of us no we don't need you we don't need you to be be our voices thank you very much